So thank you for the introduction. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to talk about a paper called uh, Reading on Smart Glasses, the Effect of Text Position, Presentation Type, and Walking. And the work was done at the University of Stuttgart with uh, Pavel Wozniak and Niels Hensel from the University of Stuttgart and uh, Tilman Dingler from Osaka Prefecture University. Smart glasses provide continuous access to information. Considering the key applications such as uh, news reading or messaging, the reading is the main, one of the main forms of consuming information from smart glasses. And, consume, and um, considering the benefit of smart glasses over the handheld devices, such as it shows the information directly in front of the uh, user's eyes, there is no need to hold the device and it provides better awareness of the surrounding, it's also possible to, to use this device. Uh, it's better to use this device also while being on the move. However, considering the, for the designing the reading applications uh, for smart glasses, several questions should be uh, considered. The first one, how does walking will affect the reading? We know that from previous work that walking has an adverse effect of, uh, to reading, like uh, it was shown that walking uh, results in the, uh, in the lower comprehension uh, the, while walk, um, well, reading while walking results in lower comprehension and higher um, workload. But however, uh, it's, uh, we don't know if it's the, still the valid for the, for the reading uh, on smart glasses while walking. The next question is how to deal with the occlusion. If you want to use the text on, uh, um, present the text while, while walking on smart glasses, we, of course we don't want to completely occlude the visual of the field. Uh, of the user, uh, but we want to show it in, in some part of the display, and it's better to use the, the presentation types that uh, present the text only in a chunks. And if we want to present the chunk of information, it's, uh, it's unclear where to place the, uh, place the text, so it's the third question need to be answered. And to this direction, there was a uh, work was uh, done by Tra and his colleagues, and they investigated the, the effect of the physical position of the display on the monocular smart glasses on the performance in dual task scenarios. The participants were in a, a car simulator and they get uh, notifications from the monocular display. And they found that the central position is the most noticeable uh, position on this kind of smart glasses. So considering all this information, we wanted to, to investigate how reading on smart glasses affected by uh, walking presentation type and text position. For this purpose, we built an application using the HoloLens. However, uh, we didn't uh, look at the, the AR, but we, we used it as a, as a device that continuously shows the text. And, um, and, uh, the, and as a reason was to uh, the using the whole lens was that it uh, it's a device without the cables, so it enabled us to use this in different mobility conditions, like uh, while also being on the move. Furthermore, we used the the mouse to uh, to control the the reading the application that we developed, and about the control I will talk later. And the reason of using it uh, was that we didn't want to use the new interactions methods like in air gestures. Uh, to not um, because it could be the biased users because new interaction uh, techniques for them. And the application could show the text in, in two presentation types. One was the line by line scrolling, and then as one the RSVP. Uh, in the line by line scrolling is the traditional the, the the scroll text, but the difference is that it's uh, shown in one line and it's the the text uh, size is uh, maximum, uh, maximum is uh, uh, 15 character size. And uh, so it results in three, three words, uh, an average three words uh, each case. And it could be uh, controlled by the uh, users, uh, by the mouse uh, scroll wheel. And the second presentation type was the uh, rapid seal with a presentation. It's an experimental model uh, in which users focus on visual stimuli sequentially present at in the same place. And uh, the reading with RSOP, it looks like, like this. 
it's, uh, the text is uh, shown in rapid sequence in the same place, and uh, in, in our application, the users could uh, control it with a mouse to, to pause it, to resume and start it, and also to control the speed using the mouse scroll wheel. Furthermore, the application could show the text uh, in three positions and in a uh, top right positions as in, in Google Glass uh, displays position, in the central position as we, uh, as, as I told before, it's the most uh, noticeable place, and in the, um, uh, the bottom uh, center position, which is the, uh, it's similar to the um, subtitle position of movies. So we, we, desi uh, we designed the study, uh, was a two by two by three mixed design, uh, having the uh, mobility as a between subject parameter and text presentation and text position within subject. And the, for the mobility uh, was uh, walking and sitting conditions for text position reading with RSP and reading with line by line scrolling and text position was top right center and bottom center. For the study, we measured uh, text comprehension using the uh, multiple choice test, uh, reading speed by uh, by dividing the the amount of the words in the text uh, to the time spent to read this text, walking speed. We measured the distance walk to read the text uh, and divide it to the time to spend text uh, to read the text, and subject to a task load using the row to elix and precious satisfaction using the questionnaire for user interaction satisfaction. So we had uh, 24 participants, and which was uh, eight female, and we divide them into two groups. One group read the text while uh, walking, and the another group while sitting. Uh, each participant read six texts, two in each presentation type, and three in each uh, text positions. And the texts were taken um, from the from the collection adapted from the book uh, Speed Reading, a course for uh, learners of English, and it came with nine, uh, with ten comprehension questions per text, uh, which we use uh, for to measure the comprehension. And in uh, walking condition, each participant's uh, walk with a predefined uh, path, which was uh, 35 meters long, and uh, after each time uh, reading text, participants uh, answered the compre comprehension questions uh, and uh, filled in the um, uh, quiz and, and uh, wrote TLX uh, questionnaires and also give uh, free text feedback about each condition. Now I'm coming to the results and I uh, separate them into three uh, parts. So first it's the effect of the text position. We found that the the lowest comprehension was on the top right position and was significantly different to the center and bottom center positions. And similarly, uh, there was a significant difference in perceived workload in the top right position was uh, much higher than the center and bottom center. And we have the lowest user satisfaction on the top right position, similarly to, to previous results. And in this case, the, again, the bottom center position had the best result. However, it wasn't seem kind of different to the center position. To s sum up to, uh, the, the results about the text of the positions, the top right position resulted in lowest comprehension score and uh, perceived satisfaction and uh, the highest subjective workload. We didn't find any significantly main effect of text position on reading and walking speed. These results were also supported by the user feedback. Uh, one, for example, said, uh, I like the bottom center text position. I could see the floor in the background and therefore was less prone to hit something. And then as the participant said, on the, right, uh, on the top right position, one has more freedom concerning the view of the environment, but the reading is quite impaired. I had the feeling all along that I had to look up, which after some time I found exhausting. So good, these results could be explained that while presenting the text on the to uh, bottom center position, uh, while walking, uh, participants could easily see the environment, so they were left, uh, less afraid of uh, hit something. 
However, when the text was shown in the uh, top right position, it, uh, it could be uh, get tiring to look all the time at the top right and walk at the same time. Now we come to the second effect of presentation type. We found, while uh, looking at the comprehension data, we found that uh, interaction effect of the mobility and the uh, presentation type. We found that while, while sitting, RSVP resulted in higher uh, comprehension score than the scrolling. And uh, while walking, the reading with scrolling resulted in higher comprehension than sitting. Furthermore, we found that uh, reading with scrolling result in higher, uh, higher reading. Uh, the reading with scrolling uh, was faster than reading with uh, RSVP. So to sum up these uh, results, uh, while walking, reading with scrolling result in higher comprehension than reading with RSVP. And opposite, uh, this, while sitting, reading with RSVP uh, result in higher comprehension than reading with scrolling and participants read faster with scrolling than with RSOP. And we didn't find any significantly a main effect uh, of uh, text presentation on subjective workload and perceived satisfaction. This result was also supported by the user feedback, like one indicated, uh, I like that I could control the scrolling of uh, text using my finger. I don't uh, have to focus on a single word, thus I can also easily absorb my way while walking. And as a uh, participant said, uh, RSVP is useful for reading while sitting, since I just need to look at the same location. So this result will also be explained that uh, while walking, uh, with, uh, so reading while um, with scrolling demanded that uh, the participant should always scroll to, to read the next text, and they could also pause whenever they want. So there was no need for explicit pause uh, action. Uh, to pause and see the uh, environment while walking. However, in RSOP, it, uh, it demanded the explicit uh, clicking on the button to, to pause the reading. And uh, it also demanded that the participants always focus on the, on the text. Uh, if they didn't, then they could miss the part of the text. However, while, while sitting, uh, there was no need to, to look at uh, the environment, so they could just walk, uh, look at the same place and read the text with the recipe. And now we come to the last effect, the effect of uh, walking, and we found that uh, the participants could read uh, faster while sitting than while uh, walking. And we didn't find any significant main effect of walking on subjective workload, perceived satisfaction, or comprehension. So now we come to the finding of the of the paper. Uh, we, as in uh, as it also was shown in the previous works, that and our uh, that reading speed decreased while walking and reading speed was higher while reading with scrolling than with RSOP, and our results was uh, also supporting this, uh, this relative, these results from the relative work. And uh, we found that bottom center and center position result in higher comprehension and, uh, and lower workload, and also they result in higher, higher uh, pursuit satisfaction. And while walking, reading with scrolling results in higher comprehension than reading with RSOP. And while sitting, reading with RSOP results in higher comprehension than reading with scrolling. With that, I finish my talk and I'm ready to get to the questions. We have time for three questions, roughly. Hello, thank you for the presentation. My name is Susanne Boll, University of Oldenburg. I just wanted to know if you uh, did any experiences also with like obstacles. So if you really uh, are walking uh, at home, maybe there's something in your way. Maybe I missed that um, because I was a few minutes late. Uh, so how that interferes with your reading? So for, for the study, we used the predefined path, which was uh, without the obstacles, but there was need to turn uh, 
so it was uh, ellipse shaped uh, path but uh, we didn't use the extra obstacles but of course it's it was it's the the limitation but it was indicated in the paper and for the future work it could be also investigated but i i also think that uh, showing the text in the bottom center position makes it even possible to also see the in front of you better than the top right position so i guess the the results will be the the same way i was it's it's not necessarily but i was just curious if like if you walk on something that is maybe uneven uh no. if it might affect it and because you maybe feel more uh, tempted to really look at the floor, whereas you maybe feel much more comfortable if you read in a, if you if you walk in a very even and very constrained area. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, thanks. Hi, Daron from uh, Highway Vision. Uh, great presentation. I wanted to ask, at what distance did you render the text from the user, and did you do it stereoscopically, or was it uh, only on one eye, or? No, uh, it was a stereoscopic and text was showing in 1.5 meters distance. Okay. And then did you try different at uh, different distances to see how that? Uh, so, so it was the distance was selected, but the text size was uh, selected by the pre-study that we did. Okay. Yeah. Which was uh, done in order to determine the best yeah. the best position. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. 